In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Fabric and Fabric mods to Minecraft 1.20 or later on your Mac. Before we get started, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have Minecraft fully installed to your Mac already, and we also need to make sure we have Java installed to our Mac as well. If you don't have any of these things, I'll leave video links in the description of this video, which will show you how to do exactly that. So now we have Java and Minecraft installed to our Mac, the first thing we need to do is to open the Minecraft launcher and you want to load the version of Minecraft you want to install Fabric to. So in this case we want to install it to Minecraft version 1.20.1. Once we've selected it you want to click play. Once Minecraft has loaded this means we have the necessary files to install Fabric to so we can go ahead and quit out of the game. Now we need to download Fabric. To do this you want to go to your web browser or you want to go to the fabricmc.net website and I'll leave a link in the description. From here you want to click on download and then you want to click on download installer the universal slash jar and in this case I'm going to save the installer to my desktop. Once the fabric installer has been downloaded you just want to go ahead and open it up so we want to right click click on open and then you want to select open. The reason why we have to do this is because it's from an unverified developer. Once the fabric installer is open, it should look like this. So you want to make sure you're on the client tab and then you want to select your Minecraft version, which is 1.20.1. Then you want to make sure the latest version of the loader is selected. You then want to make sure create profile is ticked and then you want to click on install. This is going to install fabric to your Minecraft launcher. Once we've done this, you want to click on OK and we can now exit out of the installer and we can delete it. Now Fabric has been installed to our Minecraft launcher, we can go ahead and verify this by opening the Minecraft launcher and you may need to restart it. Then you want to click on the profile drop down menu and as you can see the Fabric loader profile is now there. So we can go ahead and start playing Fabric mods. But before we do this we just need to install the mods themselves. So to install Fabric mods we want to minimise out of the Minecraft launcher and then you want to go to the modding website of your choice. In this case I like to use modrinth.com but you can use curseforge if you'd like. So the first mod we need to download is the fabric API and this is necessary for most fabric mods. On modrinth you want to click on mods in the very top and fabric API should be at the very top. So we're going to click on it and then you want to click on the versions tab at the top and then you want to select the latest version of the fabric API for your Minecraft version which is 1.20.1. Once we've selected it, you want to click on download and then you want to download it to your Mac. So in this case, I'm going to select the desktop for now. You want to do this for all of your fabric mods. So for the next example, I'm going to use sodium. So I'm going to click on the mods tab and then I'm going to find sodium. And again, I'm going to click on the versions tab and I want to select the version of sodium that works on Minecraft 1.20.1. So I find the version for Minecraft 1.20.1. We're going to click on it. And then again, you want to click on the download button and in this case I'm going to download the mod to my desktop. So now we've downloaded our fabric mods we just need to go ahead and install them. The easiest way of doing this is to open your Minecraft launcher and then you want to click on installations at the very top and where it says fabric loader you want to click on the file icon and this will take you to your Minecraft installation folder. From here you want to go inside the mods folder and you may need to create one if you don't have one and all we need to do now is to drag and drop the Minecraft mods we've just downloaded and put them into the mods folder. So I'm going to drag and drop the Sodium and Fabric API into the mods folder that we've just created. Now we're going to click on move and now our mods have been successfully installed to our Minecraft Fabric launcher. So we can exit out of our file and then we can click on play and we can go ahead and click on the Fabric Loader version and you may need to click on I understand the risks and click on play. So as you can see Minecraft has loaded up and we know it has worked because in the bottom left it will say Minecraft version number and it will say fabric with modded in brackets. Well we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with our mods just as we normally would. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible.